kind of gun you right? A pistol? Okay, all right. What in the hell? Let's go, Raul. Thanks to your brilliant leadership. No, no, no. There's another one. Hold on. Let me see you put it work again. One time for the one time. Try me again if you want to. I literally blew his head off. How's he gonna try me again? What do I be saying sometimes? Yo, yo, what's going on? I am sick. Let's get that. Let's get that on the table right now. <clears throat> I got my cup of coffee and we gonna, we gonna do this. Yep. Boy, yesterday though, I was incapacitated. Do you understand me? I was, what is, where's my mouse? There we go. I was in the bed. I ain't get out of bed till like four o'clock, dude. 4 p.m., yes. I was not feeling good yesterday. Oh yeah, radiated. So I just finished uh, editing the last episode. So I'm gonna drop it today, which is Friday. And uh, yeah. Y'all are probably seeing this next week at some point. I kind of feel like I remember the, the doctor in Good Springs being able to clear up radiation. Is that a thing? Or is that like a... Why why do I remember that? Is that a thing or not? Doc Mitchell probably sleep. Oh, no, nah, he up. Just standing, looking at a bed. Okay, Doc, what's up, dude? How are you holding up? Can you heal my radiation? See, I remember something sure, about that. Sure, I can that. help you out. Uh, honey caps? Okay. All done. Talk about small money. Appreciate it. Damn, that easy, huh? Hold on. So what, what's my radiation at then? Zero. Damn. Okay, Doc. You got some uh, rad X and stuff? Can I buy it? Need medical supplies? Sure. What you got? You got the, the rads? Stem packs? Give me all of them. Give me the expired joints too. Give me the supers. Yeah, to purify water. Yeah. You ain't got no rad X though? That's cool. Man, Doc, you done helped me out more than you can know. All right, well, <clears throat> Doc helped me out. I didn't even know you could do all that with the doctor. Where do I get? You take care now. Rad X and uh, Rad Away though. That's, that's the real question I gotta get figured out. Mick and Rouse, Doc Mitchell. Doc Mitchell ain't had none. Dr. Ada Strauss and Novak. Is that her? I think so, right? Damn, these fools ain't turned on, on her yet? That's what can crazy. I do for you? You got some Rad X? Yeah. Oh, two Rad, two rad X. Four Radaways, appreciate it. Some stem packs. Oh, let's go. All right, now we we'll check out uh, Vic and Ralph's. While I was editing, I saw a freaking minigun. Hey, what can I get you? In the vault, so I do want to go back to the vault, get the minigun. And they had like a rocket launcher. I want to grab a lot of those things and get them out of there. But first I need to drop off a lot of stuff in Novak. This boy ain't got no goddamn rat away. Or stem packs or nothing. You offer any other services? Whoa. I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Press him and we can talk. Who is the king? You haven't heard of the king. He must have been living under a rock or something. I just don't really come around here. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. A resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on the side. All right. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? That's cool. Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. What do I need a, a passport for? Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less, and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? I mean... Oh, is it just to get through the credit check? I mean, I'm already, I'm already in there. I mean, there you go. I'll support a small business though. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for stopping in. Little money ain't nothing to me. Oh, let me hit, let me hit up my boy. Wait, whoa, 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 Mick. Welcome back. Got my boy. Hold on. All right, so they ain't had no rad X, but uh, Doc did, and uh, I, I think that's really all I needed. I can go back to Good Springs to clear out my radiation. That's good to know. I thought I remember something like that, but I wasn't too sure. Anyway, 
Well, let's run through it one more time. Gotta get them. Oh, nope. Gotta go to Novak. Forgot. Hold on. All right, we got plenty of space. Still got my rad suit on. Let me see. Uh, <coughs> Let me get my All-American lined up on some. Now I got plenty of space to hold stuff. Look at that. I'm holding 37. I can grab all the guns. Well, hopefully. Not really worried about radiation. I can go to dock. Okay, we good, we good, we good. Let's get it. Wonder if the, the what's it cost is gonna be back in here, the enemies? Let me look at this All-American too, hold on. He's just 556. Five, Condition's bad. I need to go take this up to get repaired. DPS is 97. Wait, what, what's going on? I thought this was, this gun was better than, than what it's showing. All right, got it repaired. 133 damage per second? What's going on? The recoil better not be crazy. It's just single shot like that? I'm supposed to take out the super mutants with this? I had a lot more faith in this than I should have, I think. Hold on. All right, let's get my rad X going. Let's rock. Let's get through here. Are these, these dudes back alive? Don't look like it. Good. Did I have too much faith in the All-American? Possibly. But then again, I haven't even used it yet. So what if it's, what if it's fire? Also, are the ghouls, are the ghouls in here dead still? I hope so. Yeah, seems like it. Cool. I'm headed down straight to the vault, grabbing my stuff, getting out of there. Oh, there should be a few though. Cause I didn't kill those. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, I'm doing pimps to play us. Hold on. I might've had too much faith in this. The recoil ain't as crazy though. It took him out pretty easy. Huh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe. 10 millimeter pistol, plastic explosive. I don't really need that. Uh, all 34 security armor, that might be fire. Security helmet, combat armor. Boy, this is about to be heavy. Combat helmet. I'm about to run out of run out of weight already. Watch missile launcher. Jeez, is that a taser? Oh, a detonator. Sniper. Riot shotgun. That one might be nice. I have some assault carbides already. Do not have a mini gun. <clears throat> that's that's the whole reason I came back. I saw that while I was editing. And I was like, boy. How did I pass on that? I don't think I could have carried it anyway, but grenade launcher, do I, I feel like I have a grenade launcher, but if I don't, I can come back. I can come back and grab that, but I got the minigun and that's really what I wanted. Let me see what's up with these, uh, these, uh, armors. Is it combat armor 12? Okay, so the combat is better than the security. No, 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 no. I could drop these and grab that rocket launcher or uh, grenade launcher. Get out of here. All right, gun case, hold on. There's gotta be a key for this in here, hold on. Nah, I ain't done. I thought I was done with all 34, hold the phone. It's a pulse gun, energy weapon, okay. Well, not gonna waste my time on that. Let's get out of here. All right, that's a bet. That was a quick, quick in and out. And I, I barely even got any radiation. Hell yeah. What are you doing? What do you got going on? Are y'all with him? Deimos, Phobos, these are, that's cool. These are the names of moons of Mars, and this guy's name is Mars. That's cool. I don't want to talk though. Okay. Yeah, the metal armor is still the best one that I got. I could have left the combat armor. I'm going to keep the minigun on me solely because I'm going to use it on the super mutants. Missile launcher. Golly, that's just so heavy. All right, Black Mountain. Can I just fast travel to it. What happens if I fast, bro? They just gonna pop me up at the top of the mountain. I'm about to die. Hold on, let me, let me, let me at least save it real quick. Yep, just at the top. I mean, I, oh, hell nah, I need to go. 
I need to get my radiation suit back. Oh, no. Nah, and I ain't got no rad eggs? Oh, Lord. I'm not going to. I'm going to die up here. What's good, dude? This ain't doing it. This ain't doing it. God damn, I could fucking unload on his ass and hold on, minigun. They didn't die after a, a, a rocket? Thank you. Died to that one though, didn't he? Let's go. What up with it? Who want it? Chill out on my guy. Boom, sucker. Oh, lot. Chill, chill, chill. You didn't reload? What are you doing? Sucker. I need to heal. How is he not dead? What kind of what kind of missile is this? All right, all right, all right, fine. Pull out the mini. I th I, I always felt like the mini was gonna do more damage. Everybody dead? Let's go. Top of the mountain. This is where we belong. I'm at. I'm. I'm gonna definitely visit. What's the name after this? Uh, uh, Doc Martin. What's good, bro? Oh, you not cool? What's good? What's good? Eat that. Eat that. Yep. Sit your stupid ass down. Let's rock. Okay, so uh, yeah, what am I supposed to do up here? I'm just up here getting radiated like hell for no reason it seems but I was a cheat um, I didn't expect them to just put me straight at the top of the mountain. I Kind of did expect them to oh damn 440 caps. I'm looking for a dude named Raul. Oh, here we go. What's the terminal? I can't do it. Okay Talking to transceiver <laughs> Oh Lord, <laughs> we no follow you no more. We follow Neil. He no call us dumb dumbs. <laughs> oh my God, what's about to happen? I need to go see Doc. That's what needs to happen with me. Who on it? Oh, look at these fools. Yeah, eat it. Stupid. Next. Next. I see you. I see you. What's up? Did he die? No, he did not. How are you? Sit down. Next. Right there. What up? What up? You shooting the wrong one, pimp. You shooting the wrong one, pimp. Oh, oh, oh. How long do it take? Okay, we good. We good. Who is you, Neil? Neil. What up, Neil? Okay. We follow Neil now, though. Or what y'all do? Shit, not me. Hold on. What up with it, pimp? Yeah, we can do this all day. We can do this all day. Stupid. Ooh, I done got crippled. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, see, I man, I had low faith in the what's it called? I had low faith in the damn missile launcher. But, but damn, that was embarrassing, bro. That thing ain't really do nothing. Uh, what's it called, though? That minigun? Yes, sir. That's the whole reason I wanted to go back. And uh, why am I here? What am I doing? Don't y'all hate like you ever pick up your phone, get on the phone, forget what you're doing. That's exactly what happened to me right now. Doctor's back. There we go. Jeez. Who is that? Who popping off like that? I think the game tripping. Either that or I am. What's going on? Hey, is it? That's how we doing it. That's how you feel. That's how you feel, bro. Dead now. Damn, I'm crippled again. Doctors bag me again. Jeez. Yeah, minigun go crazy. I feel unstoppable. Annabelle? What's the Annabelle looking like? He's got writing on it and whatnot. It says Annabelle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Annabelle better than my? I'm about to leave my rocket here, bro. That's how much it pissed me off. 224. 242 and it weighs less and it's more value hold on yeah i'm about to keep annabelle missile launcher finna get dropped off right here wait what hold on it says view mods missile launcher guidance system what that sounds kind of crazy i need to drop six pounds radio transmitter control panel I don't know what that, oh, there's two of them. There's four, there's four of them. 
Let's do it. So that's where I was at last time. I'm just dying. Yep, right down there. Huh. I might have to come back and get Annabelle. I can't do this. Hold on. Nah, I'd rather come back and get the missile launcher. Damn, is the missile launcher stuck? Damn, that's wrapped up. I can never get that. Okay, well. Oh, well. I'll spawn one in if I really need it. Storage building. I'm looking for Raul. Prison building. He's probably in here. Terminal? As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in intact buildings. I wonder what she's planning to use them for. Apparently the mutants raided a caravan today. One of their rifles jammed, took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed a minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled a switch there and taken this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterward, but I, it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. Okay, so this is just the log of some dude that worked here. What is this little dude? Broken toy car, that's cool. Don't want it, that's cool. Requires a key. Where do I get the key from? Probably one of these other buildings. That's gotta be where Raul's at though, right? Prison? Duh. Okay, all right, so what's this note? Treasure hunt, oh Lord. This treasure hunt for the key. All right, well, let's read it. To whom it may concern, me. We got some pretty good stuff from the last raid and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any of the items you find. Stuff I hit, a missile launcher, three missiles, three bricks of C4, five frag grenades, one super stim pack, various ammo, your benevolent supreme overlord Tabitha. I don't care for any of that. So you can keep it, enjoy it, I don't care. Broken Mr. Handy? You quickly ascertain that the robot's current AI state is set to hibernate, likely a self-defense mechanism after the unit suffered a ca catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI after flipping the right switch, the robot jumps to life. Hello. Okay. Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? You way too close to me, my boy. Sure, follow Thank me. Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. That's a long time, buddy. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. You coming with me? Where, uh, Eddie at? I lose Eddie just like, oh, okay. Eddie, don't get jealous. Got another robot coming with us, alright? No big deal. R Rhonda? Is That's that you? Tabitha? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I've missed you, sir. This stranger here sticks me up right as rain. Is he a friend of yours? Back up. I don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. We're cool. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. I hope it ain't heavy. Tap this equipment key? Hey, hey. What will you do now? I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading home. Okay. Quest completed. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Come along now. And I leveled up. And I'm about to die. What's going on there? Okay, Tabitha. Have fun. See you later. Why am I about to die? Has it just been like that? And I just didn't know? Science is up to 75. Let's go. Oh, hello. With the finesse break, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat. Equivalent to five extra points of luck. Yeah, doing that one. So it turns out Tabitha doesn't want to kill me and I just got a key. Does that key open this by chance? No, it doesn't. Okay. Raul's got to be in there. Ain't no way he's in here, right? What is this? Broadcast building first floor. Oh snap, we got a little puzzle here. Some terminals are protected and can be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you'll be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force the security reset. 
Playing your ability to start hacking again. Okay. I don't get like a a, 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 a hint or nothing. There's no four letter words here. How about this? How about I quick save? Hop in it. I'm just gonna start guessing stuff. Yeah, anytime. One of seven? Locked out. All right, load it up. Yep, locking. Yep. Warning, locking has four, right? Looking. Pouring. There it is. Let's go. We're in. Okay. Well, know the, know the secret to hacking. Just uh, save the game before. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place on one of those vaults for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Oh my God, it's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. Oh, this is before the, what's it called? This is the, the, oh. They must have thrown everything they had. And it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can barely type the mountain shielded us from the worst or the blast, but there's too much ready. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible and the radiation should keep the majority of the people away. Looks like we found a home, at least for now. First things first though, we've got to get these corpses out of here, poor bastards. Marcus? Do I know a Marcus? I don't think so. Damn. So that was right before the what's it called? That was a cool read. Uh, there was like no, what's it called? No benefit to opening that though. Whatever. Another one, round two. In 10? First try, let's go. Hermes Communications? Hermes? Black Mountain Submatrix System? Marcus made me type this. The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off of Rhonda. This has to be Tabitha, right? He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. It's a radio station. It's amazing. This place is a radio station. If we can get it prepared, we can broadcast music or we can broadcast music across the waste, just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, oh, Rhonda, how I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place on the air. The radio station is fixed and we've begun sending our message onto the desert. Marcus thinks I spend too much time in here, but what does a first gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step up from dum-dums and I agree. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We were the master's favorites. We don't need their help. Rhonda said we'd be better off without them. So that's, oh, alone at last. Marcus and the others left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can, can and can't say on the air. The airwaves will be free. Now Ryan and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. Anyway, this is the start of a new era. The only downside is most of the dum-dums chose to stay. Damn. Lucky? Great news, the ghoul entered our camp today who has experience fixing machines. He seems to really like it here. So I hope I can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird. Rhonda just asked me why she would, she would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? Okay. I finally got Raul to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dumb, dumb moment, I place the spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Let's go. Where are the stairs? Right here? Is here? Where at? Where at? I'm under the stairs. It said it was under the stairs. I don't see. Oh, oh, oh. Tap this room key. Let's go. Activate the ham radio. I'm just turning these on in places. Uh, sheet music book. Okay. Let's just tap at this room. I'll take the rounds. All right. Is this? 
Does this key open the thing though? That's what we really need. And is this fool alive? Like, okay, all right. I kind of want to read these again. So this is Raul's writing. Immune with the scar across his face, whom I've taken a call in cuddles. Stopped in today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that's outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. Tried to escape today. Tabitha had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed a toaster. Oops. Nice. Cuddles came in about his car again. He even brought a container of glass and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem. But he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got too ugly. Jeez, at least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock of my door to require a password. Using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is 12345678 Like anyone who cares will ever read this. Got him. And I'm in. Let's go. So if I would've just read it the first time, I would've, I would've got Raul disengaged lock. My boy. It's good, dude. Boy, you are ugly. Took you long enough. So can I go now? What do you mean, took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. And no. Nope. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? I mean, who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Okay, cool. Uh, really? <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you're a horrible damsel. Can you repair some of my stuff? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse <laughs> to tighten some lug nuts for you. My fault, my fault, my fault. Oh, for real. For real. Okay, appreciate it. Come with me, bro. You forget about me already, boss? You sure you My name is Raul. Wait, what the hell? I can't get him to come with me now? Actually, do you want to tag along with me? Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Oh, do I have to dismiss him first? Okay, all right, hold on. Uh, Boone, go home. How do I dismiss him? Do I gotta go back to Novak? No way, right? I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Hey, so if I come back, is all those enemies still gonna be down there? I hope not. Also, like, why did I switch all those? They definitely gonna be down there. Okay, all right. Yeah, this, right? Companion dismissal. Dismiss all, whoa, 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 whoa. Not all of them. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go pick up Eddie. You have lost Boone's trained rifleman perk. Okay, Boone has returned to Novak. You have lost Eddie's enhanced sensors perk. And Eddie returned to Prim. Bye, guys. I'm Hello, alone. Potential customer. I'm alone out here Welcome, in these streets, sir Senator or madam. All right, we solo in these streets. Should I have done that? I don't know. Also, damn, my radiation's hot. Boy, Tabitha scared the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all cool? Y'all just gonna walk straight into a pit, huh? Okay, all right. Damn, I'm sick already. Maybe I should have went and see Doc before I came over here. Is this like the epicenter of an explosion? Nah, no way, all this would be flat. All right, my boy, oh, I'm solo. You. you need something repaired or something? Yeah, come roll with me, dude. You wanna tag along? Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Last rock. Bros, give you the regular maintenance perk. Okay, cool. What kind of gun you ride? A pistol? Okay, all right. Hopefully you hold it down with it. I don't, I don't, I don't. What if we run into Tabitha right now with Raul? Hey, she gonna try and kill you, bro, or what? She took off. I don't know where she went. Okay, well, let's go back to Prim. Let's get Eddie back. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it moving. Eddie, missed you, my boy. Let's roll. All right, got my two, two companions. Look at him, look at him. Eddie, me, Raul, Raul, Eddie. We just gonna roll out together, you know, take on the world and whatnot. You du you dual wielding the pistols at least, or you you just okay, you just revolver too, like it, it take extra long to to reload. You know that, right? That's just what you do. 
Uh, okay, all right. Damn, so what do I do now? Oh yeah, I want to talk to the kings. They got that robot dog. Eddie's cool. But I don't know, maybe the robot dog is cool, cooler, you know? Oh, what I really want to do is drop off this damn, what's it called, in Novak. This damn missile launcher. Annabelle, don't need it. Grenade launcher, you can stay too. Honestly, the damn, what's it called, can stay too. The, uh, minigun, I only need that on occasions. Like when I'm fighting super mutants. Head over to Good Springs. What in the hell? Let's go, Raul. Thanks to your brilliant leadership. No, no, no. There's another one. Hold on. Let me see you put it work again. Hold on. Do your thing, Raul. Let me not get in your way. Hold on. What's up, pimp? Hold on. I got my boy right here. I got my I got my boy right here. He gonna handle that. Yes, sir. What up? Light work, easy work. That's what I'm talking about. Can I dap him up? Appreciate you, bro. Hey, boom, he can suck it. That fool sucks. Yeah, Raul go crazy. Hey, you the man, low key. He, that fool killed three salamanders and now he's the man. That's crazy. Standards are low on my end. What's up, doc? Who wanted it? Hold it down, pimp. Oh, you gone? Just like that, huh? Ooh, ooh. One time for the one time. Try me again if you want to. I literally blew his head off. How's he gonna try me again? Like, what do I be saying sometimes? The king's on the other side. I don't really know Only where I'm I can at. keep you safe, my friend. I can smoke all of y'all. Three sides of dick. Outer Vegas? Nope. Oh. I don't know where I'm at. It says the king's right there. What am I doing? All right, after the most confusing walk around New Vegas, I finally made it to the Kings. What up with it, my boy? Let's get it, where where, where the King at? I need to talk to head honcho around this muff. Gang member, gang member, Pacer, what's good? What do we have here? Another Who's the King? Who's the King? You believe this asshole man? I don't know. In Freeside, the Kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Small money, brother. Uh, I'm new in town and I want to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. That was easy, Pacer. around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Is it Elvis? There's no way it's Elvis, right? Look at him. It's Elvis. Hey, robot dog. To you guys. I need him. I need him. I. How are you, Rex? Thanks, buddy. You want a treat? I don't have any right now, but I'm gonna get you one. You the king. That is Elvis. Okay, gang member. Loser. Loser. What's your name? Loser. Who? Cool. What's Look, that, Rexy, king? Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Because he's stuck with you, brother. He wants to come with me. I was hoping he might have some work for me. Do you always charge people to come talk to you? Nah. Well, actually, yeah. Let's ask him that. Do you always charge people to come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Nothing. I talked my way in. Pace must be losing his touch. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, what can I do for you? Okay, Elvis, he, he kind of cool. He kind of cool, I guess. I figured he might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'm listening. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire? Yeah, I did. The They're annoying. You entered Freeside? They're annoying? Annoying? Yeah. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing what? in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. 
So, what do you say? It's a bet, bro. Let's, let's rock. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Appreciate that. Oh, 200 bucks. That fool looks cheap as hell. GI Blues, that's right. Let's find this fool. It's one of these fast travels. I didn't hit every single one, I swear. Is it this one? I don't think so. Hold on. It might be. Hey, hey sure is. You yours? You need to cross free stuff. How much for your service? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. All right, let's rock. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. All right. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. All right, let's get it then. Only I can keep you safe, my friend. I'm going with Doris. South gate and watch out for his suspicious behavior. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. If you get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Is that right? Huh, up they got doctors the in there? Where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare if it you. can be bought, they don't it can be found. Is this a door? What? How did I not know that? I know now. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesight till you've been to the Wrangler. Oh, I, I done busted they ass in the what's called already. In the blackjack, don't worry about it. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. They weren't there before. Is that your buddies or what? Make you look good? I'm finna get jumped. Hello, what's going on? You looking real suspicious right I'll scout now. Ahead. You follow at a distance. I'm keeping up with you, bro. Look at you running into a sign. Can you really be trusted? Okay. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Something about this don't feel right. Five out of six intelligence? I ain't got no intelligence? Yeah, I'm dumb as hell. What the world? Why did you run ahead like that? Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough and you learn to trust your instincts. You're imagining things. It's just the rush of adrenaline caused by your near brush with death. Luckily for you, I was here, so there's no reason to get out of sorts. My thoughts exactly. I'm dumb as Time hell, money, bro. After all. My, my, my head is stuck on that. I'm an idiot. No way. That can't be true, right? Oh, okay. These are all load numbers. I thought it was five out of a hundred, bro. I was like, ain't no way. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Damn, if my intelligence was higher, I'd be cool. But it ain't. Like, why ain't nobody tried me like that before? You know what I'm saying? It had to be his homies. But at the same time, they dead? <laughs> How does he keep finding people that's just down to die? Because my boys got some shots off him. And they definitely ain't shooting no fake bullets. My boys ain't. Uh, Mr. King, I ain't, I ain't seen nothing wrong. What do you have for me? Not much. He seemed legit to me. Oh, he did, did he? Well, that just ain't good enough. Get back out there and hire him again. Hire him a hundred times if that's what it takes. And before you ask, I'm not going to cover the cost this time. It's bad enough I'm giving the man more business. Well, how do I get my intelligence higher? I got to get my intelligence up. That's the only way. Mentats? Mentats will give you a temporary plus two. I'm pretty sure I got those. I do not. Where do I get Mentats from? Mick and Ralph's? Hey, hey Ralph. What can I get you? You got Mentats? You don't. All right. Dr. Ava Strauss. What can I do for you? You got Mentats? Nope. Hey, Doc Mitch, you got Mentats? How are you holding up? Pretty decent, I guess. This doctor ain't got no what's called either. No Mentats either. He says something about this place being uh, like a doctor place. Can I come in? Hey, don't try and kill me, guys. I just want to want to see what's going on. Beatrix Russell, you look jacked up. Okay. 
Followers guard, you ain't a doctor. Followers guard, you ain't a doctor. Followers doctor. There's so many refugees to care for. Hey, you got Mentas though? That is one bad okay. Arcade Ken. Hi. Here we go. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. His name is Arcade Gannon. Okay. What kind of research do you do? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs out of barrel cacti and other fantastic improbabilities. Okay. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. What's the goal? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. Okay, well, that's enough. See you around. Alright, buddy. You know, you ain't got no men tats. I don't need you. Where did doctors at? Beatrix Russell? Howdy. So, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Okay. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Okay, uh, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Sounds like you're a bit of a Dom, Beatrix. Hey. Who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Okay, let's... What? Uh, I'm leaving. I guess. There ain't no damn doctors in here. Where do I get Mentas? That's my only way of continuing this mission. Hello there. Malcolm it's good to Holmes. see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. What's going Don't on? Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. I mean, I've been, I've been fast traveling, pimp. I don't know how it works in y'all world, but anyway, why are you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. So special about him. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out thing. there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Yeah? What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Okay. Who is Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star Caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Thanks for the in thanks for info, but I'll, I'll be going. No now. problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. I ain't worried about nobody, especially not no fool named Alan. Sergeant McCready. Oh hell. What is it now? Never mind. All I need is some damn mentats, bro. I ain't come over here to talk to nobody. I bet you this bar bartender in here, Bighorn Saloon, I bet you he got some mentats. What up? Surprising that the cons are going to walk out of here after all that fuss. Uh, what you got for sale? What can boy? I get you? Mentats. That's what you can give me. Guess what he don't got? Mentats. Why is this stuff so hard to find? 
You know what I haven't checked and I bet you I got? My damn storage. Nope. Mentas just, just, you can't find him. Can't find him nowhere. Hey, what up, Boom? How you doing, bro? Good, good. This is my boy, Ra this is my boy Raul over here. You met him? Hey, he's cooler than you, bro. Way cooler. See ya, Baldy. Yeah, I cheated. Yeah, I cheated to get the Mentats, all right? Okay, but like, I've been hunting for 17 minutes. And this is all just, just stuff that y'all aren't gonna see. Just to find some freaking Mentats. Are you serious? I'm not doing this again. Let's roll, Lord. I knew you'd be back. Yeah, let's go. Done and done. I want to mention a few things. We'll be heading down. Yep, I'll keep yep, a brisk. Yep. Safety game. I wonder if Mentats are addictive. I'm only gonna take this one. I Hopefully I don't need more. Them fools ain't there this time. What if I didn't even need the Mentats this time? So tell no me, way. did you really think I'd be stupid enough oh, to here we go. this again? One of my men saw you go in and out of the king's place. Didn't need the men as much by as the way. I hate. What's good, bro? You dumb as hell, boy. He smoked me. He smoked me, didn't he? Golly. I wasn't ready. I was not ready, fam. That fool pulled that gun out quick, didn't he? How long you been shooting, gay? My god, you was ready. Hold on, you know what I want to try out that I haven't? Yeah, the shoddy. But I don't. Even, I haven't even like checked it out at all. 270 DPS. Okay. How do I change? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Don't drop the joint. Hold on. How do I? How do I change am, uh, ammo types? Somebody tell me that. What's good, worse? So tell me. Let's go. As much as. What up? Look up! Look up! Look up! Look up! Hey, this one's strong! Okay, right? Shotgun ain't to move. I need the slugs, though. I need to change ammo. I need to figure that out right now. Y'all probably told me in the comments of this, the last video that came out, but I ain't seen him yet, because that video ain't out yet. Slugs? Uh, oh, yeah. Bean bags? I don't know what that means. Hold on, let me check out my different types of ammos I got. Buckshot, beanbag, dragon's breath. I, I want the slugs right now. Yep, let's go. Ain't no way he lives after this, right? Let's go with so him, my tell me. Did you... hey! What in the world? That fool took three slugs to the head? You different, you different. Smoke these stupid ass. Who's shooting? Who want it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You going crazy down there. These are Aura Stugs? Y'all kind of, y'all bossy as hell coming down here to fight. You think you right in front of the King's joint. From distance. Nah, no way. Yeah, I wouldn't land in that. Where they at? Oh, right here. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Where y'all shooting at? Man, y'all just having fun, bro. Man, y'all bullshit. What do you have for me? Uh, Orius ain't a problem. Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Sure can't. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. Sure did. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. What we got, a lot bro? of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. All right, I'll look into it when I can. Good. Return here when you found something. All right, for sure. I don't want to seem too too antsy. You know what I'm saying? Go to the old Mormon fort and question somebody. All that hunting for mentats, I didn't need them, by the way. Who want it? Oh, they can handle themselves. Cuckoo, but I can help them. He running? Don't run. Stupid. That is one odd robot. Boy, why she pulled a knife out so quick? Anyway, I need to talk to somebody in here. I don't know who it is. Old Marmafoot in question. 
Some injured locals about their assailants. Okay. You alright? What up, gambler? Okay, can't talk to you. What up? For sure, for sure. Uh, you a guard? Don't really want to talk that bad. Oh, here we go. What up, Wayne? Any reason to talk to you? Scram. Man, get you then. What up, Roy? What is it? There we go. Can't you see? I want to be left alone with my friend here. I just want to know what happened, bro. King asked me, or your friend looks like he's in bad shape. Let me not say I'm from the Kings, you know, because I'm not. I'm not really a king. Your friend looks like he's in bad shape. Yeah, the docs say he's going to be laid up for a while, assuming he doesn't get any worse. Damn, I got to say it. The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Damn, Royce, like that? What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Oh, Lord. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Damn. All right. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne didn't want to talk to me. Hating ass. You want to talk true? now? Did the king really send you? Ah, uh, now you care, huh? Didn't your friend just say so? Yeah, if he vouches for you, I guess I can trust you. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? You're not hiding something from me, are you? What? No. I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys what? that Free attacked us reduced. call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. <laughs> He's a little slow, ain't he? Well. I know what I'm about to do. I I just can't live with, with the uh that little bit of fame going down. I can't do it. I gotta I gotta go what back and do it again. Can't you there we go. Why oh, some damn kids chasing that rat? Y'all trying to kill that thing? Let me see y'all swing on it. Swing on it. Y'all not serious. Have All you right, found King. anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. You got it. Hey. All right. Well, head to one of the squatter camps. Talk to Julie Farkas. Probably talk to Julie Farkas first, but that's going to be on the next episode, y'all. Another two hour recording. I'm shocked I did this again. That first two hour recording took forever, dude. Well, Got another one. Thanks for watching, y'all. And I'm sick. Hello. Killed it for y'all. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, if this video came out bad, it's because I'm sick. Blame that. But uh, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did. Share with your friends. Subscribe for some more. I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.